What up? It's your boy Red Man. If you guys didn't know, I love season one of Sh uh, Shadows. I mean, Shadows. Eminence in Shadow, my bad. And uh, I love the tournament style, the way it ended. And it leads right into season two, right? Uh, we find out that there's money flowing in and they have to go to the Lawless City. And we get introduced to new characters, right? We get vampires, some strong dude, and this really sexy fox girl who eventually becomes a great supporter of Shadow. And we get a cool adventure in Lawless City. Uh, things get found out. Money gets, you know, stolen. It's, it's an awesome arc. If anything, season two had some good arcs here. And then the short, what, 12 episodes to 10? We get to see all of them, right? Uh, the biggest arc, though, is definitely at the end with uh, Princess Oriana and the kingdom that she's from. We get to see what happens. And let me tell you, it was a pretty good arc. I actually enjoyed it. I mean... Even our main character started enjoying it, I think, towards the end. Because, if you guys didn't know, this season, if anything, is a season of uh, Sid, our main character, Shadow, finding himself, right? Uh, he's went through a lot. Um, his sister, apparently, we find out, also has a secret spirit inside of her, which we have seen in season one, so that's pretty cool. But he feels like he doesn't know himself anymore. Like, he doesn't know why he started uh, Shadow Garden, why he's Shadow anymore. Of course... He does find this out eventually that he wants to be basically immortal or unstoppable. What do you, whatever you want, call it able to, you know, withstand anything in the world and the universe can do to him. Right. And we get to see that here happen. Right. Uh, eventually at the end, though, something happens after he defeats something. I don't want to really spoil it for you guys. And he gets sent back to his original world, which was what, Earth. Right. So hopefully there's a movie announced. We're going to see if they're going to continue through that because it seems like some things went down while he was gone or dead in Earth. And it seems to be robots or cyborgs. I don't know what's going to happen, but it seems cool. I'm excited for that. So, yeah. Anyway, season two, right? Music. The intro was pretty good. I actually enjoyed the intro music. Um, not as much as season one, but just, just enough, right? A lot of um, more stuff between... Uh, Shadow Garden and uh, the rest of the world and trying to shape stuff, get money. You know, you know how it is. Um, one of my favorite ar arcs, besides that landing, is uh, the money one. The one where they explain what credit is and credit unions, stuff like that. That was actually really interesting. And seeing Sid steal money and then report it as false credit in order to basically plummet in the whole economy of the empire or whatever that thing the kingdom was called. That was pretty cool. And um, yeah, I mean, it was interesting season. He even becomes a bad guy within his own organization to do this. It overall, I was I was really impressed. Plus, we get to see Delta fight a lot. So that's pretty cool. Um, overall, though, what would I give this one? Oh, hold on. Forgot, right? What's going to happen to his people now that he's gone? I don't know. We'll find out, right? Hopefully... Like I said, the movie, I'm kind of excited to watch this movie now. Hopefully it's really good and can tie it into another season because this show is actually not a bad show. I just wish it had more character development within his own organization. But that's just me, right? That's just me. Anyways, what would I give this season? Hmm. What did I give season one? I think I gave it an 8 out of 10. I like this just a little bit more. But I wish, you know... I wish certain things from the show that they're not delivering, but it's fine. I'm still going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. They seem to be keep, you know, the, the pace going. I really enjoy it, like I said. Hopefully, we get to see the movie soon. And badass movie, right? And uh, thank you guys again for watching. Hit that like, hit that sub. And I'll catch you guys in my next review, alright? Peace.